Uh, let's check out Templar Assassin. Uh, Wagamama is going to join in a couple of minutes. He has over 2,000 games on Templar Assassin. So I think it's safe to say that he enjoys the hero and knows a thing or two. Uh, Templar Assassin becomes highly elusive, avoiding damage and gaining a bonus to her damage. The damage and avoidance effects are separate, have a limited number of instances. Oh, so it's like uh, raindrops. Six instances of damage, six instances of absorption. Does it block as much damage as it deals? I'm under attack. Oh, full block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's pretty good. So you wanna poke through it quickly with uh, small damages. Uh, meld. Templar Assassin conceals herself, uh, becoming invisible as long as she remains still. Oh, Shadow Melt. If Melt invisibility is broken by attacking an enemy, Lanaya, which is Templar Assassin, will deal bonus damage to the... It'd be funny if Lanaya is like her girlfriend and then suddenly, like, out of nowhere, it's like, it's like Nani? But I'm assuming Lanali, Lanaya is a Templar Assassin. Lanaya will deal bonus damage to the enemy and reduce their armor for 12 seconds. Melt is broken by any action other than staying in position. Is it also broken by? Yes, I would assume. Interesting. Yep. Juggernaut and Templar Assassin have some love story lore wise. Nice, like a uh, sibling love or? Then I will do bonus damage to the enemy and reduce their armor for 12 seconds. Eight armor reduction, armor reduction duration 12 seconds. Like mom and son, nice. Bonus damage 200. My purpose is clear. But only if she attacks right from out of it. Ah, wait, is it pure damage? Did you see that? It says 200, is that fake? Displayed physical damages before reduction, same with crits. Really? The truth is near. Side blades, pure damage. Uh, Templar assassin side blades slice through the attacked unit, splitting and damaging enemy units directly behind it, while gaining bonus attack range. Our standard attack range is 160 plus 230. So we start at, we start at 160. Oh, and a side blade range, side blade range. For each unit it damages, the spill damage is reduced. Damaging units directly behind it. Ah, that one. Ah, this is like the Warcraft 2 Red Dragon and Griffin. In pursuit of the mystery. And Griffin Riders in Warcraft 3. And it looks like they're taking the same damage. But what happens if one of them has armor? On your guard. The same because it's pure. What if he's the one in front? Oh, okay. It takes the baseline armor and then does a full transition to the rest. So it's best when you hit an unarmored target and then it splashes to the armored target. Okay, uh, and then psionic trap. This is some kind of global teleport. Places mystical traps that invisibly monitor enemy movement. When sprung at her command, they exert a slowing influence of 30% in the area. Traps charge up to slow 60% after four seconds. Deals bonus damage when fully charged. Max traps up to 11. Slow 30 to 60, slow 5, bonus damage 350. Psionic projection allows Templar Assassin to teleport to any psionic trap after channeling for 1.5 seconds, detonating it upon arrival. Channeling psionic projection does not break melt.
Oh, you can actually see she has travel time. She's very fast. You can see it only when you're very, very nearby. I saw... I don't know how many you saw. I saw four uh, Templar Assassins. I saw four. You saw zero? Really? I think it's a bitrate thing with the stream. I saw one here, one here, one here, and one here. Roughly at the same time. Okay. Uh, shard. Uh, and also... Why did they get silenced? Increases max trap count and trap vision range. When activated, traps now also silence affected enemies. Wow, okay. So she's an agility hero that lays traps, slows people, gains vision, and can zoom around the map with her scepter. She does cleave damage in a straight line. She benefits from armor reduction on enemies as the primary target is the reason, is the total uh, damage output. She can lay traps with her ult or with her W by staying still in a certain place. And she has a self armor reduction a talent as well via melt that's without desolator. And then finally, She's an agility hero with high armor and high attack speed, so she'll benefit from damage items. And she has high armor. She's going to be weakest against magic. Refraction helps with that, so she's going to be stronger against burst magics. The cooldown and the duration is the same, so you can go into battle with an old refraction that you cast it 11 seconds ago or 13 seconds ago, so you can have another refraction in the battle, so you can block 12 instances. And she's going to be weaker with refraction against slow damage sources like uh, rot. I mean, sustained damage like poison ticks, uh, venomancer cloud, and uh, uh, punch rot. Hello. Hey, Waga, what's up, dude? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Just been playing some grounded, fun game. Are you streaming too? What do you say? Are you streaming as well? Uh, yeah, I'm streaming right now. Uh, cool. What, what's grounded? Uh, grounded, it's like a crafting survival game. You're playing as miniature people. You've been shrunk, and you're fighting insects and ants and stuff. Like, is it an arcade game in Dota or another game? No, 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 no. It's it's a it's a game on Steam. It's like 40, 40 bucks or something. Oh, okay, okay. It just had its full release. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, but I need to get my Dota fix for the day now as well. So it was good time to go into Dota uh, again. All right, you're going in fresh. So yeah, TA. Uh, TA is obviously a hero that I'm very happy with. You can pick her uh, at the screen here. Okay. Yeah, I, I've heard uh, you played her before. Yeah, uh, I started playing her a lot already in Dota 1, so she was always a hero that I enjoyed um, for for very many years. But there's, there's so much about this hero that is not necessarily beginner-friendly. Um, like, she's very particular about positioning, but... I, there's something nice about her too though. She has protection, the refraction, as you already said something very nice as well. I saw when you were, uh, uh, you know, thinking out loud a little bit, reading the skills, that you can precast refraction before you go into a fight. That's a huge thing. Definitely. A very important thing that I would have told you uh, had you not already mentioned it, but that's completely correct. And being able to foresee that, oh, soon I'm going to be fighting, like I'm going to go into this, Precasting it so that you have it with about six Empire seconds or so uh, until it times out when you start the fight. That so, will be yeah. like sort of ideal because you'll have basically 12 charges, Prepare defensive and offensive, that you can use. Okay. Um, and so, so uh, to, to begin with, her uh, what is my role when I play Templar Assassin? What is my overarching uh, goal? Am I there to delete supports from the back? Yep, that's pretty much what she's the best at. She can dish out good damage on anyone, of course, but uh, since she doesn't have any real good lockdown herself, she's the best at killing supports. You have no means of escaping. Yeah. Um, she's also very good with anyone in your team who's a disabler. So if you have any stunner in your team, uh, working with them is very good. Um, okay, so 
Uh, I'm gonna just... You, you can write gold like this and you okay. just get money. Uh, the, the cheats are on in this lobby. Okay, so cool. So you can just buy uh, like power treads and uh, dragon lands for me. Yeah. And these are two items that, of course, I generally think having magic wand is good and you can buy like one wraith band as well. But these are the two big items I want to see you get first. Okay. Um, dragon lands has a really high percentual improvement for her relatively short range. Yeah, uh, exactly. Dragonlance is, is very good for um, for just being able to hit without getting well, too close. The secret and yeah, I'm just going to spawn in some boys here. And so generally when playing TA, a hard thing when you play her, um, do... Um, uh, do this, level up five for me. Uh, right back, man. Nice. Okay. So your skill build is generally going to be first point in E. Uh, that's very useful because then you get the ability to hit from far and you get to spill. Because otherwise TA is shorter range than melee heroes right. until she has it. So it really sucks to not have it. Well, well technically, um, melee is 150, and she starts at 160. So I have yeah, but there are some more? melee heroes who are even 200. So some uh, some me melee heroes are literally longer range than her. <laughs> okay. Um, um, something like Mars, you know, would outrange her. Okay. Uh, even while she's supposed to be ranged. So yeah, she's the shortest ranged ranged hero until she gets uh, side blades. Can I also ask you first? A, can I ask a few mm -hmm. questions that are not necessarily related to Templar Assassin? Now that I have you here, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> of course. Are you picking your first ability the moment you see your opponent's team and draft? Like, is there a situation where you would not go for E immediately? For instance, you're going for your own safe bouncy rune here, uh -huh. but you realize uh -huh. that three people snuck up on you with smoke bombs, so you hold until you see you're getting ganked, and mm -hmm. then you go refraction. There's actually a lot to answer in that, and I will say generally uh, players in high level hold their skill points on almost every hero uh, until they know that they want to skill something. Yeah, um, It's very common. I tend to not skill something until I'm ready. For instance, something TA can do with meld, you know the bounty runes in the start. You can skill meld, run over there and meld immediately. You can sit there and wait, and then you're going to have meld ready and meld stacks with itself. So if the enemy come up to take the rune, you're invisibly waiting for them. Oh. You can give them minus 10 armor. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so you, you can actually do first blood attempts with this, but but it's risky because if you skill meld level one, it's a bit awkward to lane with. Uh. But it can be very good too. If you're laning against a melee hero um, in, a, in any lane, meld can be very good. If you're laning against Axe here, for instance, uh, then meld striking him would be a great way to just m make him back off um, because it does so much damage. Okay. So that's a completely valid point. And even skilling refraction, of course, can be can be good. But yeah, uh, okay. holding skill points is fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, let's say generally, side blades level one. Then you go two points refraction afterwards. Yeah. So you get. The level three. Refraction is a very funny scaling. I don't know if you... Uh, I didn't listen to all of your talk. If you think about it. Because uh, the damage increase is obviously quite nice. But it also gets more instances. Yeah. So the ability gets, you know, kind of non-linearly stronger. It becomes very powerful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Level one refraction is literally just 75 bonus damage. But already on level two... You're looking at 180 bonus damage. Oh yeah. So you're you're getting stronger faster than 2x. And then 325, uh, and then four. Four numbers. No, yeah. Math on stream, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's damage. It used to be easier. They changed the numbers. Now it now it looks weird. Uh, uh -huh. It used to be just be a 100, so then it was 600. But, um, but anyway, you put two points in refraction, and on level five or level four, sorry, you will put one in melt. Melt. So that you have melt as well. Okay. Yeah. And then usually you would go another point in Q, right? Like you don't exactly. generally like to go like two one two before your ult. Yeah. No, I would say generally three one one ulti, then final point in uh, in refraction. Oh, it's yeah. a very standard way to go about it. Okay. Um, I would say that's the most generally good skill build, but there are so many skill builds you can do. The most general thing though is side blades don't 
benefit from being leveled very early since it's just a tiny bit more range and the spill range does increase but it's not so important to get early yeah um in the mid game though that becomes tricky so if you uh you have uh, three one one now i can see on your screen yeah so i'm gonna walk at you with axe okay. walk near you yeah. i want you to do something for me here okay um you know your attack range yeah, roughly now right you can hover attack. over your stats and yeah. you see it yeah. uh 390 so i want you to meld strike him when he comes close to you meld is this ability where if you click at all without attacking a hero right you break it so yes. you're not allowed to move it has to be an attack command on him oh so you want me to um, max attack melt hit and if i misjudge yeah. then i take a step and i don't get the effect exactly because if you try and do it now i'm out of range i think on your guard Oh, you're actually in range. Okay. Yeah, it's because of the dragons. Right. I forgot I gave you that. Oh, yeah. I should drop <laughs> uh, yeah. it for now. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So, if you do it if you do it now, you're going to you're gonna miss this, from there. This 240 won't work. Yeah. yeah. So, that's your range. You see, like, within here, you can do it. But already there, you're going to miss it, probably. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can try. I, yeah. I, I thought from here, uh, I can actually, hit it. Actually, but... let me just do what the fuck. And, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, exactly. I was, uh, you can try it out on step. the standing still target. Yeah, um, do write what the fuck as well for yeah, me, and I then did. you you have um, you don't have to refresh then. Oh, okay. From here, I'm too far. I see. I see. Closed. Okay. There you go. So so that's the range that you have. So let's say he comes walking at you. Just try to melt strike him when he comes okay. walking. This is just nice to try and do. Yeah, you see that missed. Yeah. You're actually too early. This is just something nice to try and do before you go into a game because that is probably the hardest part about playing TA. Actually landing mel strikes, you see? Mm. It's so easy to fail. So just getting to try that a little bit. I want you to get a chance to do it on on an actual, you know, uh, <laughs> non-hostile target. It's easier. And this is it feels like it goes from further when you're walking away. Yeah, oh. it might feel a little bit more forgiving. And uh, one thing you can do as well that I do, uh, so let's have you take the Dragonlance again and have nice range. Yeah. Um, there, there can be another problematic scenario about landing this. And that is um, uh, like, uh, give me one second. Chat told me my five minutes are okay. up. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, we got more than five. Yeah. So another problem can be if the target is fast, right? If they come running quickly, you can sometimes misclick it. You can keep just hitting him. If if they have a lot of speed, they're landing nicely. One thing you can do if they are super fast, say we had something like like this. Um, uh, just going to drop down a sentry here as well for you. Uh, Oh, Weaver's fast, yeah. Yeah, exactly, because Weaver's, I know, nightmare from your um, your Dazzle game. Yeah, all my games. <laughs> games uh, yeah. He's a frustrating hero. He can be super frustrating for uh, TA as well, because when he's super quick, if he's like zigging around like this, yeah. it can be hard to melt strike, right? Yeah. A trick you can do yeah. is that you can actually attack move the ground. If you're in range of a target, oh. you can just attack move, and you will attack. So you can ah. you can land it just by attack moving. Ah, that's that's a lot super easier. neat to know. Yes, it's nice to know. Only keep in mind though that if you see many targets, she's gonna you choose will rely on the targeting for who it's gonna target, right? Yeah. So if uh, a creep is attacking you, you might melt strike the creep instead. But do if it's just one guy, this is a super useful thing do you know for the, making it easier. Do you know the priority rules? Is it just the nearest target? Uh, it's, it has to do with whether they are attacking you and how close they are. So proximity and their threat level, let's say. So if they're attacking you, they're higher threat level. If they're just walking towards you or not attacking, they're lower threat level. So you would be targeting the attacking guy. Same as it, it's WC3 weird. then. So are you saying that yeah, yeah. if there's four enemy heroes nearby and I do an auto attack with or without meld and the nearest one and the two wingman are attacking the furthest one and i'm in range of the furthest one like they're doing like a, a fake attack on their ally like how you change tower aggro that's the one i'm gonna attack yeah it could be yeah i think so 
I think, if I'm understanding right. Yeah, but so, so let's say, for instance, if you, um, you if, can have, if you're um, issuing commands with Weaver to attack your Crystal Maiden now. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. He's, uh, he's, oh, I select Maiden for some reason. Okay. For some reason, Maiden gets selected quickly. This is hard to do. Yeah, it's because you are able to select both so that when you're left clicking... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. because they're not my hero, so, yeah, yeah. so I get to select Argus on him. Well, I can test that another time, but um, okay. Mm -hmm. that's. Uh... But, but yeah, it's just nice to know that if you're in a 1v1 somewhere and, you know, you want to melt strike them, you can actually just attack move the ground. Okay. This is also useful if you have... Uh, if you were to have, uh, like, um, Blink Dagger, you can do item Blink like this, and you get Blink Dagger. Um, okay. Uh, if you were to Blink in and attack something, and say that they're standing around, like, we know Weaver is over here, right? Oh, yeah. Um, and we, we can, uh, yeah, we can see him. But if you were to Blink in, then you wouldn't know exactly where he is, but with Blink Dagger, you can blink in, attack, move the ground with melds. Yeah, exactly, uh. exactly. So it's a bit easier. Yeah. I, I use attack, move ground a lot when I blink melds strike. Okay. Um, anyway, we got into into sort of deep mechanics on melds strike, but a key thing I want to say here is that meld can be very easy to miss in the early game, and it has a huge impact if you miss it or not. I mean, that five minus armor. Oh, yeah. Uh, with your refraction bonus damage, you hit super hard. And then, so getting that minus armor on them is big. So I would say err on the side of caution and make sure they are really close enough or that you are really close enough to the target when you want to melt strike someone. Okay. Um, Got it. But generally, you are a range hero. Your you're not super attack. tanky. Exactly. So more often than not, you're just attacking from far away and. Uh, you know, like making sure to play on, on your range and get value from it. You're not really going to be like a Sven running in and, and frontlining. Uh, you want to hit. Am I a finisher? I'm not a finisher. Oh, she, she can finish people in one hit. So in a way <laughs> she is. Uh, she, she generally doesn't initiate the fights. TA tends to be, you know, when she sees a squishy target, she goes on that and kills it. Do I hide out of vision? You you can. If you have Blink Dagger, hiding out of vision is definitely fine. Uh, a lot of times you will do that when you have Blink, and then you just see a chance to Blink in with your refraction on cooldown and about to come on cool, off cooldown. You know, oh, yeah. like you have your ideal timing to go in. Then you Blink in, Melt Strike, and, and you're pretty fine. A nice thing to know as well, I don't know if you know this, Closed. Blink Dagger is a particularly nice item for you because... Even if this wasn't what the fuck right now, you would still be able to blink right now. Yes, because I didn't take damage. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so TA is very good blink user. Um, oh, yeah. But uh, you need to just prioritize blinking on the on the squishy guys that you can kill quickly. Um, outside of that, uh, blink shouldn't necessarily be your second item, though. Yeah. I think Dragonlance Power Treads is great. Okay. But then going into Desolator is my right. personal favorite item for TA. It's an amazing item um, that gets stronger as well as you kill people. It actually gets more damage yes. every time you kill someone. Yes. Um, exactly. And uh, Desol works super well with all your damage because minus armor is just wonderful for TA. Um, minus 11. Yeah, and that's, that's nothing. Like, she can minus armor so much since meld stacks with itself this also means that you're one of the best in the game at taking roshan not really solo but if you get to call your friends over you kill rosh very fast with this minor armor okay um, am i position um, two or one she can be both i prefer playing her as post two but that's just her let's say call it traditional place right now she's more popular as a post one so she can definitely go safe lane. She can definitely go mid lane. Both of them are fine. Okay. Um, I think safe lane is probably the easier one to get used to, an easier one to play. Mid lane is a bit more technical because you rely so heavily on side blading. Um, which, if we go to mid lane, actually, let's just uh, walk over there. Okay. I'll. Uh... Why well, walk when we can dagger? True. True. Uh, so, if you're in the lane like this. You have level one sideways, you can try and, and um, hit on the creep. And there you go. Like, exactly there, you're going to hit the queen. That's basically what you do during the laning stage. You, um, 
Let's kill these creeps. Wait, and when the next it, creep come, does it work on allied creeps? It looks like it, it does. Did. Yeah, you can you can side blade from oh, denies. Oh, so yes. deny is so good. Okay, with so her. when this creep wave comes, you're always gonna try and angle a side blade, and on you it. get in this funny this funny thing where exactly good good. You can do it from that one too. Uh, yeah, exactly. You can deny and last it. And that's also a nice thing. You can, if you see a creep this low, one of your creeps, and the enemy creep is low, you can get both oh. the deny and the last hit by going for the side blade. Um, that was so that's good. super neat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very satisfying. Um, and yeah, lining up so you hit the closest, so you splash on a lot of creeps is good. Killing creeps fast is good. I think we talked briefly about that when I was. Uh, with you last time too. Yeah. Oh, it gives you time to make you know more things happen. Um, and uh, and in general, in general, like trying to always land the side blade onto as many things as possible is a good thing to aim for. Um, something worth also mentioning before you go and play her is if you follow uh, follow the queen. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, like, you want to spend a lot of time getting these boys. Get the Ancients? Hell yeah. Um, nice. And Ancients are... TA is arguably the best Ancient clearer in the game. Uh, arguably. At least clearing stacks early game, she is fantastic at it. Um, uh, people don't stack for me, so I'm gonna have to stack it myself. Yeah. But I'm playing from safe lane, and they're far away. So yes, so I'm. I'm gonna say that there's. Um, yeah, people might not uh, might not stack for you, but uh, in general, once the laning stage, you know, after ten minutes or so, are over bottom, making a move over, you know, farm through the jungle, farm towards your your ancients, farm them, and then go and push the enemy safe lane. This is a very natural, like, move to make What's from your safe lane. Which level would I do that at? Farming, uh, or when you would move over to the enemy side? Yeah, when do I leave uh, safe lane to go as long as, do that? Yeah, as long as you feel happy in the lane and you're getting to farm the lane and farm the jungle, you don't really need to leave. But it feels like, oh, they're pressuring me a lot, this is kind of hard. Tia can jungle quite early. Okay. At level 7, I would say, you can very comfortably like make the move through the jungle and farm your way you don't have to stress but you can go through okay what would your um, pattern be because like right now i kind of just randomly pick so like let's say if i somehow started with uh, this one mm -hmm. then i go to this and i'm thinking like yeah it's on the way but it's kind of small you actually yeah this is, this is a good thing to mention small camp can be tricky for ta um, because you rely on your side blades, oh, and a small camp can break, break you, yeah. it's actually super annoying to farm sometimes because they break you and you can't side blade and it takes a while. Yeah. Uh, it can almost be more easy to clear the medium than big camps sometimes for TA, uh, at least when it comes to speed. Like yes. The, the value you're getting for farming small camp on TA is kind of bad. So generally, if you're level 7, Move towards these. All, all these camps are good. All, all these camps are fine. Uh, yeah, so you can go through like that exactly. Move up here. And anytime you have where you can stack, pay attention to the clock. If it's like, you know, 50 seconds is coming up, pretty much anything you farm, you can stack it and then keep farming it. Because so as a range hero, you can farm camps without really taking damage, right? right. Especially with refraction. You just pull it back and hit. So if you farm this camp now, like... Exactly, that would be sort of how you do it. Sorry, I'm like in the way with Queen taking the aggro. Yeah. But yeah, you, you just pull it, hit it, exactly. Like, you're not going to lose much HP. So if this was a two times stack, you're probably not losing much more HP. Yeah. And exactly, the efficiency comes in to chasing after them right where you're able to hit and run after them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so anytime you have 50 seconds coming up, make sure you stack. That does kind of get you so much more gold when yeah. you play TA. Um... And then, uh, Which one's yeah, once you have drag... Uh, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, once you have Dragonlance and Power Treads and a Magic Stick, basically, you know, you have your basic items. Um, also make sure you buy this early, Blightstone, for the Desolator. The Blightstone is just good value on its own, so you don't have to wait with buying that. That can be a pretty early purchase. Oh, yeah. Like, once you have Power Treads, you can buy a Blightstone. Already. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's just good. 
Um, but once once you have uh, your Dragonlance and your Power Treads, I would say that will sort of be the time that you want to pressure the enemy safe lane tower. Ish. Uh, okay. Generally. Um, Which one would be the neutral items I would be happiest with? Uh, like on tier TA, 1 and 2? Um, yeah, let's go over a little bit. So for, for tier 1, uh, there's actually quite a few good ones for tier 1. But Possessed Mask and Pig Pole are probably two of the best ones. Yeah, just stats. Um, so if, yeah, stats. I mean, we like stats. All stats is kind of nice too for us since we use so much mana in Refraction. Uh, Occult Bracelet, yeah. you mean? Or uh, you mean Pig Pole? Uh, a pig pole, pig yeah, pole, yeah. yeah. But um, but yeah, occult bracelet is really good because once you get hit, you get mana region, and it still gives you some stats. That's do you know, fine. Do you know if that works? When does refraction still count oh, as yeah. being hit? Yeah, yeah, it counts as being hit. It's okay. just them issuing an attack on you. Yeah. Um, and even something like arcane ring can be fine. It just solves mana issues a bit, so it can be fine. The yeah. items you don't really like: shovel, seeds. Uh, yeah. Lance of Pursuit is not really good for us, uh, honestly. It's it's cute, but it's not really good. Yeah. Broom Handle can be okay because it has damage. We like damage. Yeah. Um, and Tumblr's Toy is pretty bad, but it can be fun to jump on people and melt strike them because <laughs> you close the distance quicker, right? Yeah. So it can be. It, it can do something, but it's not really great. And Fair Trinket is garbage. We we do not want Fair Trinket. That's the worst one actually. Yeah. Because that's just. That's just a bit of HP and mana cost reduction. We don't have any real spell damage until we get our ulti, which... Ulti can be spell amped, but it's not really a damage source we want to count on. Is Specialist Array good for us at all? Um, yeah, Specialist Array is okay. Uh, yeah, for Tier 2. Uh, the biggest items, though, is not Specialist Array. It's Grobo, I will tell you. is that, That's what you're going to have to look out for. If you see Grobo, you want that badly, because it gives you range. So uh, pair holy Grobo shit! Up. Did you see oh, what boy. the lizard is doing? Yeah, they have what, he has what the fuck mode. That's why uh, I, I turned okay. him off. He doesn't get to do that. <laughs> He's like okay. vibrating over there. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, Aquila is of course good. Well, you dropped here actually. You, you just found one of the good new items. Yeah. Aquila is uh, totally fine. Grobo is best though, I would say for tier two. Get that range. And Brigand's Blade is very strong. Um, Brigand's Blade does damage based on their missing HP. And that damage is physical damage. You have minus armor, so mm. you actually make that damage stronger. Um, it used to be magical, then they changed it. So but, um, you would say Brigand's Blade is better than Dagger of Ristol? Uh, yeah, I would, because Dagger of Ristol, it's a bit of a tricky one. It can be great for this short period of time, but you're still paying a bit of HP, and the passive gain on Dagger of Ristol is only 15 attack speed. Yeah. Like, you have to use it to get anything beyond that. And yeah, 40 damage is nice, but I would actually say Brigand's Blade is more value overall because you have always 10 attack speed, 10 damage, yeah. and you're always going to get a lot of extra damage from the HP they miss. Um, like, when they're, when they're down to 90% HP missing, they're taking 90 extra damage, right? Yeah. In, in that one hit. So it's good for finishing people off. That's pretty sick. Uh, uh, we haven't got to talents yet, or how to use R. Uh, yeah, exactly. So we can do talents, uh, talents first. Talents. Um, is there is there any uh, anything that's intuitive? Have you looked at her talents at all? Uh, no, uh, I I, did, I didn't look at it yet in the demo mode. I'm looking now. So the psionic traps deal damage if they've been fully armed. They deal more damage, and they deal takes. Yeah. Oh, they it takes only four seconds damage. for them to fully arm, right? So otherwise they don't do anything. They don't uh, do anything, okay. So that seems okay, but no, I, have, no damage. I have no concept yet of how often we're going to be able to trap and damage people. Uh, refraction we, yeah. damage seems better to me. Yes, that, that is the better one. That's the one you should be taking. Uh, Sonic trap damage is very strange to play around. And yeah. You don't want to do that. Refraction damage. It's straightforward, it's easy. You're pretty much always going to have Refraction up, so it's almost like a 25 damage talent. Not really, but, you know, it's close. Um, you're going to use Refraction a lot. Um, if you ever have mana issues on this hero, it's completely fine to buy. Because uh, with this build, uh, I just realized going uh, Power Treads, Power Treads, Dragonlance, and Desolator, you can struggle with mana a lot. Mm. It's completely fine if you want to go for a Falcon Blade for mana as okay. a safe lane TA. Yeah. That's a very good item. I'm actually quite sure I would go for it 
um, before my Dragonlance if I played safe lane Teary right now. Probably okay. Falcon Blade into Dragonlance. Just uh, for more farming. Yeah, it's, it's great value. It's it's buffed recently too, so the item just feels good. A lot of people are playing it now. Yep. Yeah, it's an, it's a feel good item, and you don't have to worry so much about your mana pool. Um, but yeah, back to talents. Refraction, completely correct choice. That, that's the right one. And then we get 120 range from E. That's really nice. Yes. Very good. So I'll probably get the range. And then for level 20, more armor reduction. You said it self stacks. It has mm -hmm. a, a casting, cool, casting cooldown that is less than half of the armor reduction duration. So you can have up to three. Um, yep. Three armor, therefore, can mean six or nine. Melt, dispels. Yeah, mm. so Meld Dispels is a self-dispel. Yes. You get dispelled, yes. not the target. Um, I'd say the armor. Meld Dispels, yeah, you probably... I would say for you, definitely go for the armor. I more often than not go for Meld Dispel when I oh. play. But what it's also very useful. To remove? It's useful to know exactly all the things that you can dispel, but something like Dust can be dispelled. Oh. Um, uh, and a lot of damage over times that eat your refraction charges... If you're playing as Jakiro, for instance, and he dual breaths on you, or anyone else with fast dash ticking abilities they put on you, that on your oh, back, hold on a instance. sec, sorry. Uh, let me call you back. Yo. Yep. Sorry, uh, you became a bit robotic. Yeah, I, I heard that on your end as well. <laughs> okay. Said that. Uh, okay. Okay. So any, any fast damage taking abilities uh, that you can dispel are super nice to get rid of because then you protect your refraction charges, right? So Mel Dispel can save refraction charges, you can see. If if Axe battle hungers you, that ticks pretty fast. I'm just gonna spawn in a, like um, if Axe uh, cast your refraction no. Like this this is gonna tick down your refraction very fast. Do you see that? Uh, once per so, second. Yeah, so, and that's not even one of the fastest DPSs uh, that you can dispel. But if you have that on you, Mel Dispel would dispel that. So if he casts it again now, um, then you melt. Mm. Ah, refraction saved. Oh, that's nice. uh, and now it can block more valuable, you know, big sources of damage from you, like Queen coming in. And you took nothing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I like how you just killed him as well. <laughs> how did he die? Um, <laughs> you got an attack out because you got pushed by uh, oh. by Queen Opie, okay. so you auto attacked. Okay. You just murdered him. That's weird. He was level one, man. Poor guy. Weird. Um, oh, he was level one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he was. He was weak. Uh, but yeah, that's. I would say you can if you identify that. Hey, there's something annoying in this game. I want to dispel. Take the dispel talent. Completely okay. fine. Okay. But meld armor is more easy value. You're yeah. guaranteed to get value out of it as long as you just use meld. Whereas Mel Dispels takes a bit of knowing when it's good. Some games it's trash, some games it's amazing. Understood, understood. And then for level 25, one second Melt hit bash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bash. Or, you, what the? Seven refraction instances? Mm hmm. That's crazy. Any idea one you think is better? Uh, I'll go with the refraction, I think. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's your pick. 95% of the time, I will take that one as well. That's the only 5% where I would take Meld Bash is if I'm against super elusive heroes and I want to kill them. They are running away from me. I'm against like Puck and stuff, and they, they are super hard to catch, or spirit heroes like Storm and Ember. Uh, but oh. I, I would say for anyone except like very, very, very experienced TA players, take Refraction every single time. Okay. It's better. Okay. Um, so yeah, Refraction talent. And at that point, you can already see if you precast Refraction and then go in with it, you have 26 charges in one fight. It's crazy. Right? Like that is hard to go through. They can hit you all they want. They cannot stop you. Uh, can you even die so. with that? You can, especially to illusion heroes with a lot of units, mm. but but I mean Queen here, she she's not really doing much work, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, once you have that talent, you're a lot stronger. It's a big power spike, and of course you have much more damage output because it's not just a defensive one. It's you now have a lot of charges to attack through as well. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So for talent, that, that's pretty much it. Um, then you just take the rest when you want. The refraction can ca can be cast while disabled. Sounds OP to some people. Oh, dreaming. <laughs> uh, it sounds good to some people, but the range is almost always better. The side blade attack range. So, yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, let's talk a little bit about the trap usage. Yeah. Um, so obvious places to trap could be the bounty runes. Uh, yes. Any gold and any power runes. You could check for Roshan, I guess. Maybe check for Secret Shop. Enemy mm -hmm. ancient stack. Do, do they see the trap? No. They are invisible. Traps uh, are visible when placed, but become invisible uh, very quickly after. Okay. So they're visible until uh, about two seconds in, and then they're invisible. Oh, yeah. They have a bit of a fade time. And can you see them with True Sight? Yes. They can reveal them, and they give uh, 25 gold if they kill them. Oh. So... Oh. Uh, they get a bit of gold for, for killing a trap. Um, but, um, okay, so yeah, you're definitely right. All those places are good. I would also add any ramp is value. Okay, any any ramp. form of ramp, because you're more likely to have enemies running on choke points in the map. Right. Instead of controlling this entire open area, which would require, you know, 20 traps, we just put one on that <laughs> ramp, one on the ramp over here, maybe. We can see when they enter the area. Um... So any form of high ground ramps, you can also have a little bit of high ground vision from them. They give you a bit of vision. Oh, yeah. um, it's super nice. But Roche, 100%, you should have one there. Um, you can have 5, 8, or 11 traps five, based on your two. level on ulti. Okay. Um, and you can always see how many you have placed. There's a, oh, an yeah. indicator for you. Uh, so that's a nice thing for... Um, for being able to to tell okay and um generally the the traps you don't put a trap on an enemy and immediately pop it right. unless unless you have no better choice yeah i mean that's a very minor slow it's it if we bring uh if we bring over one of the one of the heroes here let me just blink over uh the weaver here he is he's back uh if you put down a trap and insta slow him, like let's see if we can even see his yeah. like the slow is there, but let's give him power treads as well, so he's like an average hero item um yeah, bots item threads. Okay. It's pretty good. So not thirty percent. Yeah, I mean oh, by the way, it, it's do, slow, you, do, but it's... do you use D to explode them or do you click the trap? Because it uh, does the nearest trap. Yes, I generally box select immediately after I put down a trap and activate it. Yeah. Um, sorry, I put a trap as well. It's bugging out a bit because we have two TAs. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, but yeah, it's going to activate the closest trap. The hotkey is nice if you're if, if you feel sure. like it's weird to select the trap. Yeah. But I avoid doing it because there's one downside about this. Uh, and it might be a bit far-fetched, but if you get silenced, you can't activate this. You should be able to, because oh. the traps are activatable. The traps right? are not silenced. Yeah, if you're stunned or you're silenced, you can't use your hotkey for that. So it's good to get used to selecting the traps, just as a you know correct yeah. behavior. Yes. Because once one, once you're disabled, you you'll wish that you're used to always selecting them. Yes. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, but generally you want to try and have the traps prepared and then if the enemy get baited to play to that area, you activate that trap and once they're slowed, you put a trap where you think they're gonna run, right? Like you put something behind them and you start chasing them yeah. if they're slowed. But apparently, um, apparently you can pre-control group your traps. Yes, you can. Um, you can. I, I don't really play with my traps control grouped really, uh, unless... There's a trap that I think the enemy are going to go to. I just, like, temporarily control group it. Oh, yeah. Uh, if I think, like, oh, they're going to go there and I want to be ready, I control group it so I can insta-jump there. Okay. Uh, whatever. Um, then, finally, uh... one thing about the traps uh, is that the shard is quite good, but should probably not be an early purchase for you. Uh, yeah, you get the... You need to be... Um, the ag shard, exactly. Uh... <laughs> So it's, it's good, but you don't want to get it early because it's going to affect your farm. I think to get the most value out of it, you need to play around it so much. I don't recommend you getting it early uh, because it's 1,400 gold that could be spent on DPS. Could be you getting closer to uh, Black King Bar, which again, I should mention, is a 
a huge item for you to buy next. If your inventory looks like it does now, you want a BKB 9 out of 10 cases. Okay. You know, I, that's a, a TA item. You blink in with BKB on and start murdering. Very hard to stop TA when she does that. Okay. Um, so it's, uh, it, it's, it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic thing to have. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got it. Exactly. So like that, you blink in with a fraction up, BKB pop immediately and melt strike, murder, murder. Yeah. Uh, you said it right when you, uh, were demoing the hero. She struggles against magic damage more than physical damage. Oh yeah. Because we're already an agi hero, so our armor is decent. She has pretty high HP for an agi hero, actually. Um, yeah. And we have refraction, which blocks damage. So slow attacking physical dealers like Sven, not that worrisome for us. Fast damage instances like Venomancer, Viper, Oscar, anything that's quick and magic, not fun. How do we counterplay those? Because chances are I'm going to get some counterpicks. Uh, yeah, pretty much the item you just activated there. That BKB is going to be uh, the dream when you get it. It saves Until my, then, my refraction uh, charges entirely from magic. Yeah, exactly. You, you dispel a lot of stuff uh, when you activate BKB and you can't get stuff applied to you, right? If you have uh, uh, damage over times on you, BKB can dispel the same way Meld can. Um, Meld dispel is, again, one way to counter, dis uh, counter these things. So level 20, you get a bit stronger against them. Uh, but the biggest advice I have is try not to play towards the heroes that counter you and okay. jungle a lot. This is a farming hero. You farm quite fast, okay. get some item advantage, and then when you feel comfortable, like I have a, you know, I have my blink, I have my deso blink, power treads, you know, I got some murdering items. You, you can think about fighting more. Okay. BKB is going to be crucial for team fights. TA is not very good in 5v5 fights because of how many things there might be that want to go on you. Like, everyone wants to kill TA in the fight. She she gets targeted pretty high because uh, she's so high damage. Yeah, okay. So let's let's get into a game soon, but you, you uh, we still need to talk about Scepter. Yes. Um, yeah, Scepter. Scepter is an item that, honestly, most of the time you probably don't want to buy uh, and you're not going to use that much. It's super fun, though. So if you find yourself kind of already winning the game and you want to have a fun item to experiment with beyond that scepter is great okay but scepter i will say is an item that requires a lot of practice to be good at using <laughs> okay. i played it so much that i love scepter and i buy it a lot but it's sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy that scepter is a good item on ta the more you play it the better it will be and it will really start to feel amazing yeah. but in the beginning oh my god there's a lot to think about because you gotta leave traps in places you want to go to yeah uh so leaving one trap in base always is pretty basic so you can always jump to fountain oh yeah uh and then having traps on every lane so you can jump to every lane and take the farm uh but I would recommend not going for Scepter in okay. your in your learning of TA, but if you find that you like the hero and want to play it more, then Scepter can be great to play around with. But what about that trick you showed on stream? Yeah, that, that, that cool trick. Yeah, exactly. I want to see you do the... Uh, we, we can see if you can, we can, uh, <laughs> see if you can do it. No. Uh, Wait, I did get it. Oh, did you do you, you quick? Uh, I have, I have and we don't have Global Shop right now, right? No, so, we yeah, don't. You, so you did it. But it's weird. Did it. it only said that I bought it mm -hmm. when I when I um. It only said I bought it by the time I arrived. I thought I failed actually. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, you you did it though. You were spamming <laughs> the the buy button when you jump over. Yeah, <laughs> do, do it one more time. Okay. Do I? I, I have a trap at the other. Okay. I have, yeah, you I need have to be lined up. Think of a straight line between you and the shop and the trap, of course. Like here, so maybe. Shop, shop is here, his AoE is here, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then just spam the spam the quick buy when you jump over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny, it's a funny bug that so many people don't know about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you did it again. Very nice. <laughs> I'm very proud. <laughs> when you showed that yeah. trick, I was like, oh my god, how often does he use that in a real game? Come on, I, man. I've literally done it once in my entire life. <laughs> so it, it, this is the bit of useless knowledge. Every lesson needs to come with some useless knowledge. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, this is useless knowledge 101. 
Uh, but yeah. And the other useless knowledge which you gave me, I'm very eager to try it as well. My eyes opened wide with glee when you said first ability melt, stand on a bounty rune, and then mm -hmm. <laughs> trap them oh, with yeah, a double yeah. melt melting on a, melting on a bounty rune? Yeah. I mean, so generally, uh, I'm not sure how it is in, in, you know, if all MMRs are similar, but generally, if we are radiant, uh, right? Yeah. Imagine we are radiant, yeah, yeah, then... Yeah then usually we get these two runes in high MMR. Like, that's usually the... Really? Like, we get these two, the enemy get these two. Why? Uh, it's usually how it goes. Because because usually you move as a lot of people, and people go and contest. Uh, like, oh, your offlaner tend to be stronger. It's honestly the reason. Your offlane yeah. heroes are usually stronger level 1 than yeah. a lot of safe lane heroes. Yeah. Like, Faceless Void level 1, not the most impressive hero. Mars level one, you know, with spear, he can get some first bloods going. Because Faceless um, wants to be on one of these two because he won't make it to top lane to block the creeps sometime if he goes for this one. You, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the carries usually don't want to come over all the way. You can five man for you know the runes, but they don't. But yeah, so they, they, don't is... want, they don't want to start with like a, a a bad farming setup where they're hurt. So the, no. the Faceless Void level one is just gonna want to be here. Yeah, so carries, you abuse that. Carries gonna carry. Yeah. Yeah. They they want to be close to their safe lane, so they farm. So carries are usually not gonna be down here because if they are here for the rune, if they're here when the rune spawns, they can't make it to top in time. Exactly. They're okay. literally too late. So what they about... need to start leaving early. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, but but yeah, the melt play is really funny. Uh, if you expect the enemy will come and contest, I mean, it. If you see your. You're against some melee hero in the off lane anyway, then you're completely, you know, allowed to do this meld thing. Just go and sit on a rune like this. Okay. It, it's funny, but it's, uh, it, it's also, oh, I should, um, have you do this actually. Wait, um, can you move this, this hero? Uh, yes. Or can you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, walk up and meld strike the crystal maiden without skilling anything. Now you have, now you have no range. So this is going to be very short range. You need to be... Oh my god. Exactly. It's okay, super okay. short range. Okay? Yeah. So I'm teaching you something here. For if you do the meld thing, yeah. then you're going to come to lane with no point side blade, no point refraction, and you have meld. Yeah. The way you do it is by literally running up and hugging the enemy, melding them, and hitting them, and run away again. Oh, yeah. So if you're against a melee hero, you just, can melt strike Just him, to make sure to you're never ever gonna miss, right? You literally like place yourself on them to do it. That, that's how you do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I have because bash, yeah. And that's probably one of the hard things about TA is that your your melt range is dynamic to your side blade and whether or not you have dragon lands. Yeah, I got it. So being able to land meld reliably is kind of hard at first, but obviously now you have long range. If you equip, um, let's, can we get neutral items too? Yeah, just type uh, that item and then the neutral item. Oh, really? It works? Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, if, if you have equipped the Grove Bow, yeah. like the range you have with this, if you have Dragonlance Grove Bow, just to let you try it as well, like Melt Striking with this feels amazing. You can hit people from so far away. This is truly the reason why this item can be worth keeping, even in... Like that's crazy. Even when there's a tier three item available, you might still want to have this. Seven hundred sixty. What? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that range, and you can of course melt strike from anywhere you can hit from. You can melt strike from there. So I mean, now now you're very very comfortable. Yeah. So getting robo is a huge huge thing for you. Okay. Uh, huh? Um. Let's jump into a game. Yeah. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Uh. Do you mind if I stay in the party as a coach? Yeah, they'll, they'll be great. It shouldn't affect anything. And uh, just... uh, let me see if I can change our server. Uh, are you US East uh, or West? Uh, no, I'm not US. I'm uh, European. Oh, Don't worry. sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm Swedish. <laughs> Dude, your accent is so good. <laughs> I lived in the US for a little bit. So okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm on the same time zone as you, actually. Okay. All right, cool. So. I don't know why it's we're having It's fair to assume that I'm American, considering my fucked up daily rhythm. You hosted me when, you know... I was yeah, that's true. Like, <laughs> like, you're still online at 4 a.m. And then your accent yeah, yeah. is, like, perfect. So, <laughs> oh, well, just see it as a compliment then. 
But yeah, um, I, I'm here for any uh, any moment that you have questions in the uh, game. Uh, okay. Otherwise, just play it as you would. Uh, I'm, uh, I have a crack doctor with me, the witch doctor. We're gonna be up yeah. against. I'm guessing. Warlock and Nature's Prophet. Um, uh, maybe they have a weird um, lineup because yeah. they have like two carries right yeah, now. Yeah. They have Peel I guess and Slark. Slark and Nature's Prophet, maybe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, could be. Could very well be. I think Nature's Prophet is probably going to be up there. Then it's just a matter of who is going with him. They might have two safe lane farmers. Who knows? <laughs> it's ha everything has happened to me already, it yeah, seems like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, you said uh, open with side blades. Yeah. Because it gives already... me range and makes yeah. it easier to last hit. And it's not even about the cleave, is it? Uh, a little bit, especially in this game, because you're going to be against Nature's Prophet, probably. Oh, yeah. And he has summons, so cleaving them can be useful, or cleaving from them when he sends them at you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Is there anything to do here with Quelling Blade, like the position I take, or...? Uh, not really. You, you can just have fun cutting trees. It's, it's more, <laughs> more an ADHD thing for us. We just spam it off cooldown because yeah. know, we like cutting trees, but... There's not really a value to it. You can get a bit of vision cutting some free bits. Yeah, we see Warlock bottom at least, so he's not going to be on our lane. Yeah, uh, it, it, that situation you described is pretty uncommon. As far as I'm concerned, people roll the die where they go. Yeah, uh, yeah every time a lot of people. For the four bounty runes. I've had four, I've had zero. <laughs> yeah. Generally, a thing is when you see many people on one rune spots, you can try and be more aggressive on the other one. Yeah. So maybe we can get two here. At least there's, we can see. There's probably three dudes here, to be fair. Yeah. Can have a little little poke. He's gonna can root me. Run and run. Yeah, I'll just run. Well, that's nice. Oh, okay. We got one. How did we get? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, he didn't take this. Which <laughs> okay. doctor went to Morden and stuff? All right. Uh, do I eat the tango now, or do I just rely on the tower yeah. and regen? Yeah, you can eat one. Because you're thinking I'm probably going to take damage again anyway. No, I would use it. Yeah, exactly. I would also take damage, because we're, we're going to go to the lane and get hit a bit yeah. while we start hitting. Slark and NP. Yeah, so try to just hit the creeps a lot and, and uh, focus on farming. Don't think so much on the heroes. Do I want to hit the creeps? Um, I think you can auto attack a bit. Yeah, because they're gonna push a lot. Nice, very nice. Closed. And he's just giving us extra gold. That's nice. Oh, almost flawless. CS first wave. <laughs> almost. Very nice. Almost. Ah. But yeah, exactly. You're, you're doing the right thing. Just uh, not even running up and making aggressive plays on them, but you're landing some damage to them even as you're just farming, right? This is the quality of life that is TA. Yes. Just hitting creeps and you're already doing damage to Slark and sometimes Nature's Prophet. Do I so cast when Q you... now uh, just to get it yeah, up? Yeah, you can cast it, yeah. Especially since you have the mask, we have a bit of mana region. Yeah, definitely get that out. So now you hit pretty hard for two more. Oh, yeah. But now you're weak. Oh yeah. So it's a lot of balancing, like remembering that oh, I have damage. I don't have damage. Yeah. But what do great. I buy? Boots. Uh yeah, go power threads early. Yeah. Boots are really fine. Killed. Me not. Has been killed. Oh, she has really nice last hitting. She does. Because of yeah. the Q. Yeah, the Q is amazing for farming. And you only have level 1 on it yet. When it's level 2, it's so much nicer. Yeah. Then, uh, then you're very hard to contest. So I'm always just trying to hit Slark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. I mean, uh, when he gets close enough. Oh, no! Okay, that was... <laughs> It's okay, you got your boots before you died. <laughs> it's, it's fine. 
I totally didn't control it. I just sent it to bring boots to me, and that's about that. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, Dota is a pretty heavy micro game. Might be, might, might be tough actually. Later, so uh, now I just buy and save up at home until Courier uh, is yeah, back. Yeah, I, I would wait, wait for the entire. Yeah, exactly. Courier is dead. I would wait until the entire power threads is done anyway with sending out, because you're you're getting really nice farm here. Um, and uh, yeah, once once you have uh, the power threads completed and Courier respawn, you can ask uh, which doctor to stack for you as well, or like try to stack the big camp now yourself. You can uh. go there. I think you can get it still. Um, exactly. Because we clear stacks so well. And Furion... Um, give an attack command to Furion right now. Go down. Go down. Yeah, they're oh, gonna get oh, so that the creeps become angry with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's fine. Yeah. yeah nice. try, uh, okay, I've never uh, used that in that manner before. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. That's a way to stop those... Because you ran straight to the left. Yeah, I, uh, st I stack for report. them. That's fine. You actually got one of the creeps back, so it yes. was nicely handled. Just run away. Yeah, when, when you stack as uh, dire, you gotta run up more than running straight uh, left. Because yeah, otherwise, you always end up running into that um, creep wave. Yes. I like the way you're uh, like constantly sort of laying in attacks. Like this is very much how I would have played as well. Like, just spamming, uh, spamming the auto attack more so than just last hitting. Mm. Uh, to, oh, you, to, go on the tower, go on the tower, it's fine. Uh, on the to, tower try, is fine. to try and poke them, right? Yeah, and also to not get overrun by the enemy having a lot of creeps. You can already see they have quite a few. Use your refraction uh, to get more damage. Ah, it actually connected, but it hit too late. Nice, and tower partridge. You can queue up a uh, Falcon Blade or just uh, have Falcon Blade as your next, okay. next item. I don't know if you queue up items or Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good next item here. So now I'm going to add something more for you to do while you play as well to make things harder. Yeah. Every time you want to cast Refraction, I want you to double tap your oh, power codes and course. go in. And then tap it once again afterwards and you go add G again. So, Makes sense. Yeah. It's just more refractions. Good enough times and you end up getting a free discount, you know, it's like saving coupons or something. <laughs> yeah. ah. Very close, very close. Yeah, Witch Doctor is uh, very conservative with mana usage. So yeah. uh, as opposed to you being efficient and getting value for your mana, your Witch Doctor has barely even cast a spell in this lane. Yeah. He's, he's really not... Uh... I had a second game ever Invoker yesterday. Mm -hmm. He was... Uh, his first item was Midas. He was Mango, AFK at Tower, and then straight Midas and at 2500 gold, and then he saved up another 2500 gold. So, so up another <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then we That's lost. That's when we normally. <laughs> I took this uh, profile yeah. second game ever. He random to invoker. Oh, uh, I mean, Midas is actually a good item for invoker, but uh, but yeah, he sometimes you need to buy. Spoiler: He wasn't first. using it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. oh boy. Oh. It's so funny how you can hit Nature's Prophet with this stuff. Yeah, it's so long range. Like, they right? barely notice it because they don't know the hero or something. Yeah, I didn't mention uh, right now, but you actually did the right thing, even though it's uh, not what we really talked about. We said the 3 one, one skill build. But oh. this is actually the better build for this lane. So oh, you did okay. the right thing subconsciously. Because well, you're not mill striking anyone anyway. Because if they're... Like, Furion is so far away. Oh, you said one point in melt. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, but, but you don't actually want one point in melt here. So this is actually the correct play. You did the right thing I, anyway. I think it's because Gaben told me. Like, I'm following the Valve Assistant, so I... Yeah, by no, that's complete. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, you're you're getting really good value from the side blades, to be honest. You're you're having fun landing it on him, I see. Yes. It's a fun ability to use. Very frustrating to lane against too, because you get in their head like they have to dodge it all the time. And those you can farm easily. Those are actually you can you can refraction and kill those right now. Uh, too late. Yeah, it's pushing, especially with ulti. Yeah, he ulted. Oh. Huh? Just hit back. Yeah, you should run a little bit though. Power yeah. tread strength. Yo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hit the wrong tree. <laughs> oh, I have Falcon Blade now, nice. So now uh, maybe quick, go for a quick or it's too late? Uh, yeah, you can go for them. Actually, you have a gank coming in, but you can't really help him. So I would just kill those, kill those uh, small creeps. Oh, it's fast. Yeah, yeah, you kill them. Those creeps, you kill fast. The break creeps take a little while. Yes. Um, but but yeah, the storm harpies are very easy for you actually. Clinks has come to collect his taxes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I really enjoyed uh, the the mana regen from the mask. I've never opened mask before. It's not super common, especially on. Uh, oh, I just learned uh, something new. Yeah, that refraction doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Burn you, on you cannot the, use uh, glyph for infinite refraction. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sadly, no. Makes sense. Also, where does my um, first trap go? You can put on one on the uh, big camp here, uh, put a trap on it, because you can actually use it to farm too. It does do damage and is very cheap. Uh, so oh. once it's active, that's nice. You got an item. So you can actually use it on, on the creeps to like finish them off or uh, to use them to slow the creeps and more easily pull nice. back and hit. Nice. But then put some traps uh, already. Just put one on a lane next to you. Uh, they're just safety, right? For now, the traps are going to help you stay alive. So put them where you think the Furion might step. Also put them where he might step, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the safety will be that you have them where he's going to be. So even where he is right now, we would love to have a trap under him. Um, and he might not kill it if we just put one. Yeah. Okay, he did, there. he nice. did see it though, right? And yeah, he could have attacked it immediately. He could have killed it, but it's not sure that he's going to be doing that. He has to be very quick. Put one trap right where you are now, like above the tower range, but right there. Yeah, that's a juicy one. And then just back up. Back up. Don't don't fight here. That okay, can come to you. Because okay. now, if he wants to come up on the lane, there are traps, right? So now it's a little bit scary for him to come to this lane. He wanted okay, me now to you detonate it. He's like, I don't want to yeah. worry about this later. Just do it now. I know it's there. I've got the regen. <laughs> yeah, that's fine too. I mean, you get the, the damage outputs just from using a trap. It's 15 mana and it's 250 damage. Oh. Tell me one other hero that has that good of a damage spell. <laughs> you know, honestly, it's a great damage spell if you always <laughs> use it like that. Um, I like how Bounty Hunter just showed up with oh, yeah, the, le here. the least stealthy gank ever. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> But, um, oh, and it's maybe gonna work. If you got to activate your trap, you uh, could have slowed him, even though it was yeah. just placed, it still would have it would have killed you a little bit there. Yeah. yeah, so in that scenario, it's completely fine to activate it immediately, but, uh, yeah. but overall, we wanna wait. Once you kill these creeps, uh, oh, you still have bounty on to behind them. Yeah, maybe we can push on the tower and be aggressive here. Okay. Well, let's try. We have maxed refraction. Cast one now since you foresee that you're going to be fighting. Right. There was a warlock too, though, so there's four, three of them. Nice. We got his sentry, so the traps are still safe. Oh, <laughs> he puts a new one. Uh. This is the lowest death count Herald game I've ever played. <laughs> I, I was about to say, I, this is three deaths at minute 12. This doesn't look like your, your average Herald game. No, normally by now. <laughs> yeah. He just keeps feeding me extra. Oh yeah, he's giving you so many uh, trees. We can't kill him if he steps on the on the oh, trap. Actually, we can run in. I just ping him as well when you go. If you go, Warlo um, warlock is coming. Yeah, that's fine. Activate the traps when they run over like this. It didn't yeah. hurt him. Oh, it did. 
It, it does. It does. It's a damage over time. So uh, it, it takes it takes a few seconds for it to apply. Oh, nice. Yeah, he did. Wow, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, perfect. Oh, shit. Okay. I just learned yeah, something new. <laughs> creeps can also kill them. Yeah. That was great. And this is the reason why we want to have the traps in the lane like that in positions where we think he's going to walk up on. Yeah. Easy kill. So now I would totally start jungling and just leave this place. Okay. Because uh, we've stayed here pretty long. Yeah. But it's definitely time to leave. Very leave comfortably those long. Too. Ignore that camp. Those are bad creeps. Yeah. The kill trolls, they suck. But kill all the jungle creeps now and make your way to the ancients on the way there. So. Yeah, it's it's hard to like stack up two different camps since okay. I laid both of them at the Don't same try. time. Not not really worth. Uh, you can, but it's hard to get more value than just killing them straight yes. away. Um, but I like that you're putting traps while farming. That's good and using them to farm. Um, How do you know when it's fully armed? Oh, the color changes. Uh, it changes color in the outside. The yeah. outer ring becomes more pink, I guess. Yeah, I, uh, I saw it. And traps don't block creep spawns, which is good to know. So you can have a trap on the neutral camp, it will still spawn creeps. You don't block them. Makes you know, sense. if a unit is in the camp, then it wouldn't spawn, but yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Spawn. That would be OP. Would be a little bit OP. Yeah. <laughs> so something cool, since you have time here just jungling, and you know, I let you focus on that, yeah. I can tell you another useless, not really useless mechanic, but a bit uh, overclass mechanic, perhaps not okay. necessary to learn, but you can actually stack with traps. And the way this works is that traps deal damage if they're charged. Yeah, and then they aggro um, towards you wherever you are on the map, or what? Almost. You need to be within, I believe it's like 1600 or 1800 range of the creeps for them to understand that you're doing the damage. Oh, how, uh, how and much? You can stay here now. You can stay here yeah. and just farm again. Yeah. Um, so if you're within 1600, 1800-ish uh, range, yeah. and you pop the trap on like min on uh, 51 seconds on Ancients, yeah. then the Ancients will run towards you and you can stack. Uh, but since they get slowed from the traps, you want to do it early. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is great. You're using, using traps, pulling those creeps, getting more farm. Very good. Yeah. And you got the Blightstone as well earlier, which, uh, which was the plan too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of people pressuring mid. I think we actually want to go there. They're, they're pushing with golems. Immediately um, or finish this? Nah, 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 we can ignore it. The, the glyph, they got it. Let's just farm. I, I glyphed it. Yeah, yeah, the glyph is fine. I glyphed it because I didn't want to wanna leave. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't ideally want to... Like, that would offset our farming idea of going down here and farm, right? Swap the crawling, yeah. Nice. We have a catapult too. Is it too risky to be here? No, you can you can push. You put the trap too. That's smart. When you're pushing a tower, always put a trap under the tower to keep yourself a bit safe. If they go on you, and now you can take the jungle here too. Okay. Uh, go into the neutrals okay. and yeah. just clean up. Okay. Uh, well, but yeah, when you're so pushing how, towers, uh, sorry, you always how, how, how would I de determine whether I'm gonna go for another deeper wave? <laughs> um. That's just reading like where the enemy showed recently and what they have done. So they used the Warlock Golem mid. That means they don't have that big spell, so we're not super scared of him right now. Uh, and most of them seem to not be around bottom, so it just seemed safe. Safe enough. Uh -huh. uh, you can also use Melt on the, on the Black Dragon lots, because he's very tanky oh yeah nice. and he's always gonna die last so actually when you farm the dragons oh. melt striking the the big dragon and hitting from him you'll kill the small ones before he dies anyway um nice you got the stack this is very good farm for minute 17 like nice. you're you're playing exactly the way that i would uh, play as in macro sense where you are playing how you're moving on the map it's the same way i would want to play Except I exploded the trap too soon, so it did no damage yet. <laughs> yep, yep. I mean, I have to make some mistakes here, yeah. else you're gonna put me to shame here. That's yeah. a great item for wow. you. Wow, lucky. Yeah. Oh, I would go back bottom. Yeah, yeah. I'll go back bottom. It's the safer area to be in right now. Top looks scary. So let's just be down there and uh, collect more gold. And you get that juicy desolator. Our damage is gonna be great. 
Oh my god. Yep. Yeah, yeah, she farms fast, dude. She farms real fast when you have, and you didn't even have Deso yet. Do I uh, join fights since I have Deso later now? Mm, you can if it's convenient. <laughs> you want to be very selfish. You bastard. Very selfish. Yes, on your terms, yes. But this looks like a lot of work to run over there right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, I am a little tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little tired. I hit creeps. Okay. Uh, this, this is pretty much how I would play it, yeah. But, um, yeah, we want to watch out for Orange. He's scary. Peel has... Now we can uh, run back here. Okay. It's getting scary. They're TPing in. Oh, yeah. How do you uh, know? Run, run oh, down. Yeah. Run down and uh, back out. Oh, sorry. I went this. Yeah. It's fine. Hey, they saw it, so it's uh, worth it. Mm -hmm. And now you got broken, so you didn't get those creeps. Yep. You see? No, that fucking camp. Yeah. <laughs> hate them. The break only lasts like two seconds, but... It's enough to to really infuriate you. Yeah. Do you get the ancient stacks? Are you in time? Try it. Yeah, maybe. Just attack them. I think if you just hit and run immediately. I thought maybe I should do a long distance trap, but you said that has to be 51. Yeah, it has to be triggered on 51, so you need to have placed it four seconds before that. Yeah. So, oh, so yeah. yeah. That makes sense. You, but leave a trap on Ancients now, and you can have that be a play if you are in a similar situation next time. Okay, we put a pin in it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I would go for a Black King bar, and once you have that, you can go for every fight. Go BKB, and then your next item after that is Blink. And then you're completely good. Yeah, you're averaging like 10 CS per minute almost. This is very good TA farm. Nice. If I was on the enemy team, I would be starting to say that we should be worried about TA. We should be concerned. He's growing. If I was on my team and I was yesterday's <laughs> my teammate, I would have already yeah. been flaming PA for never joining fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. The benefit of being the carry is that you're sort of expected to be farming as well. Yeah. You know? Oh. He's scary. Run away from that guy. He, he's, he would burn all your mana immediately because the Diffusal Blade oh, too. Do they and always kill go? all your fractions. Do they always go Diffusal Blade? Or, uh... Very often on Phantom Lancers. Let, let's see uh, if they come yeah. for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we can go We can go. Uh, start playing. As long as we're not playing into Phantom Lancer, we can fight stuff now. We can be a bit more aggressive. So okay. just avoid orange and fight other things is fine. We can right. farm top now. Uh, like these guys? TP? Maybe. Yeah, kill that guy. Hit him. Uh, on you, on you, on you, on you. Oh, right next to you. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't uh, see that I was looking top. Uh, I was like, TP. Oh, uh, yeah. Map awareness a little. Yeah, you had a, you had a free warlock there. He, he was asking for the for the hit. <laughs> That's fine. You, we get some farm I'm over here. extremely committed to not joining fight. Now I would actually yeah, definitely TP flame away. <laughs> TP away, TP away from a fight. They're like, how do we get this guy to be involved in fights? Maybe if we bring <laughs> the fight to him, <laughs> TP out. <laughs> yeah. well, you can probably uh, get this tower. Make sure you put traps so you're ready to run away here. Because if Peel comes... Hey, tower uh, didn't shoot. Who's TL? Yeah, that's Fog of War for the tower. Oh my god, the it does so much damage. Oh yeah. TA takes towers very fast if she's ignored. But now the tower is gonna see it because the creeps came up. Oh, wait, second. what? Yeah, so the tower doesn't have vision because of the tree. Whoa. It doesn't have flying vision. Oh, so... that's why I put it behind the tree, of course. Yeah, it's very smart. <laughs> I was like, he knows my spot. That's my, <laughs> that's my trap spot right there. Nope, it was a mistake. Yeah. It's a bit dangerous to stay here now, so okay. we can probably run away. Because if they come with plus one hero, um, okay. we could TP bottom right now. I know it's orange, but we have friends down there, so we okay. can TP to your tower. Revelations. I'm here to help Clinks. Yeah. Okay, we, can't. we don't want to fight now. No, you want Klinks if you're gonna fight it's the PL for sure. Klinks would be great against PL, because uh, he has Gleipnir and the Barrage. Uh, does a lot of damage. I remember in your Dazzle game you played, you had a Klinks doing some big Barrage damages. Yeah. Um, yeah, Klinks is good against summons. Oh. Uh, he's just ignoring us, kind of rude. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, we can be careful about that. Warlock can die. Warlock can die. So can Stark. 
keep these sticks around. Yeah, Warlock is always free. He has no mobility and nothing to protect him against you. So if he's close, he dies. Um, Slark and Void Spirit are a bit more elusive and Peel is super elusive. Okay. But, uh, okay, we have BKB. Um, now you can go Blink Dagger next. Okay. Since top tower was so low, it would be nice to try and pressure the top lane again, in again. Okay. Just, uh, finish off the tower. Really nice uh, damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's she's a super convenient hero to to uh, farm with because of her splash side blades. Slime Blades is also an amazing splash because it hits no matter if the enemy is Ghost Sceptered or oh, if they're shit. BKB. Does not matter. Uh, oh. Wait, it works? Oh, because it's pure. It yeah, it, it's because it's pure and also it just it just works like you can't you can't hide from it that easily. So. Uh, so obviously you can't hit someone who is Ghost Sceptered, but a most satisfying play on TA is to Psyblade onto a Ghosted target and kill them. Oh, this this guy is probably dying? This guy's trying to style on us. Yeah, we can go mid after this. Since that guy died, ping the mid tower once okay. now and try and get people to take that tower. I pinged it once? Yep, exactly. It just puts the idea there, you know? People are like, yep. yeah. Gentle suggestion. Yeah, doing that when you try and go for a kill too. That guy can die when he walks up like that. He uh, takes a lot of damage. I know it looks scary when he walks up like that, but he yeah. actually is, is just food. Wow. Kill the golem. Hit the golem. It dies fast to you. Yeah. That's his ulti gone in three hits. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yeah. Normally it's quite tanky, but not for... Yes. Not now. No, oh my god, the for TA. ability to deal damage on towers is crazy. Yes, yes. I mean, the the brigand's blade is also helping you here, and you have a lot of items, so yeah, yeah. You you kill towers super hard. Huh? Okay, okay. We we can uh, ping Roche and go to Roche. Like uh, now, no we one ever joins. No one ever yeah. joins Roche. Huh? Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. If nobody joins, we, we can we can skip this idea too. But meld strike, meld early. Oh, I think I queued after Melt Strike. Yeah, so, not just just back. They didn't come with links. This is more like if everyone comes. You you can commit if you want. You can definitely solo kill it. Um, it's yeah, impressive actually. But uh, it's they might come here with a PL though. Don't show yourself to him. Just stay in the pit. He doesn't know you're here. Melt and don't hit. Oh, melt. You can actually sit and wait. Oh, then you're and gonna then you stack, stack up them. two melts. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah, this was actually... Uh, we're a little bit too far now, so... We, oh, we are close. Nice. Okay. Move your circlet, so you can take ages. Ah. <laughs> the amount of times I've killed Roche and had a uh, full inventory, only to stand there like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to... Uh, um, and now... I would honestly swap my BKB right now with my Blink. Is what? This you greedy yes, bastard. This is gonna sound crazy, but you have ages, right? Oh. So when you die, and smart. the moment you die, Grubby, I want you to swap in Blacking Bar oh, I will. where Aegis was. I always okay? swap for Aegis when I die, but I also always use my BKB yes. before Aegis, so now I can't make that mistake. Genius. Yes, this is. Yeah. So now, um, the reason I wanted you to keep your Falcon Blade over BKB is actually because Man, the mana region is very quality of life here. Okay, he's dangerous. Um, you should uh, refract. Okay, he's he's probably gonna win this fight hard. Swap in the ages. <laughs> and try to blink. Oh, nice. Okay. I, that's fine, you gotta kill. I mean, yeah, we lost ages, but ages is a resource. Heal was honestly in danger there. He could maybe have been killed if we blinked aggressively, but it, it was... Hard to make the call there. We don't have any vision. As yeah. Well. Um, that's for, fine. For me, that's back a good result started. for Aegis. <laughs> Honestly, creating a kill for Aegis, it's 
it's not the best, perhaps, but it's definitely not the worst. Yeah, I, I, I know it's not the best, but here's the thing. You know what usually happens with Aegis? I <laughs> ask to push Die somewhere. Twice. What's that? Die twice? Well, that too, but work. I, I ask to push somewhere. And then what happens instead is uh, one or two people join and we 3v4 or something. <laughs> something yeah. like that. Okay, so I would say they only have one thing in this game that can stop BKB TP out, right? You remember yeah. when I talked to you about Juggernaut and how Jug can always spin TP? Yeah, bash, right? Identifying that. In this game, they only have one thing that stops your BKB TP. So you can be very aggressive pushing this tower. Okay. Only Golem from Warlock can stop you from ever getting out if you want to get out. Unless they... That's refraction. Yeah. Unless they play uh, Basher for some reason. Exactly, unless they get a Basher. Oh, Peel is dead. Oh, we're, we're in we're in goal town. We, we can just go blink on that guy. You, you can BKB early. Yeah. Do I TP? I'll just TP. Yeah, that's fine. They're not going to have the DPS. He tries to Yule with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, BKB is a very big, like, get out of jail free card. You can sell your excess items now, your, yeah. your trash. Uh, all right, you know what? Buy, um, buy Shard. You get to have Shard now. I think okay. it's a nice item to have. At this point, you can buy it. Don't buy it like before around here. So now your traps are going to silence as well. Mm. And that makes it much more dangerous for stuff like Slark or Void. If they're on top of your trap, you can actually kill them. So I can have 12... Wait. I can have, now you can have 15 uh, traps. Yes. And 15. they silence and they yes. have more vision. Okay. Yep. And they silence even if it's a, an insta break, but the silence duration is very short and the silence charges Sorry, what up. What do you mean insta break? Just, if you insta activate the trap, oh, okay, okay. they still silence, but it's a very short duration then. Oh, yeah, okay. It, it's based on how long. Yeah, Bounty Hunter died a little bit. But the traps are great for killing um, Peel and Void Spirits in this game. The okay. Orange Orange is hard to kill, but he can't double walk if you silence him with the traps. Uh, double walk? Yeah, that's when he disappears and makes even more illusions. Is the thing he does. He uh, disappears Phantom and Lancer? comes back. Yeah, 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 exactly. Do we want this? Is it called double walk or is it called something else nowadays? I think Maybe something it's called... else. A double ganger, double ganger. Yeah. Yeah, you want quiver. Quiver is one of the best items for TA. Nice. Amazing item. We'll you can melt strike from far away now oh. on a four second cooldown. And you have, of course, 225 magical damage imbued into that attack as well. Right. So it's a good one. The side blade damage does not add the magical damage from Quiver, though. It used right. to. It was kind of broken. It's only, uh, it says it only works now on. Um, it only works on the main target. Yeah, the quiver, yeah. It also gives you true strike, so you won't miss if they have any source of evasion. Oh, they're coming. You should get out. You can blink into tree line or even just run. Uh, TP, TP out. Just TP anywhere. Okay. Actually, the, the Slark might be chasing you. He has a Shadow Blade on Slark, so he, he can... Uh, uh, I gotta be careful. He on you, but he has no items. He doesn't really do damage on his own. What do I buy next? That is a good question. Um, usually, Daedalus becomes a very good option. Just a super big damage item. Yep. But since you're against Peel, are you okay with me giving you a Peel-specific thing here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is, this is only strong? because of... Revelation. Yes, exactly. Mjolnir. Get Mjolnir. Uh, queue it up as your next. So. Oh, we, we want to go and fight. This yeah. has been a very cruising farming game, but at this stage, we're starting to look for... Okay. Uh, okay, we don't we don't want to fight any more there because yeah. we're out with Clinks. Um, okay, Clinks is key for me. Is key if we're gonna kill Orange. Orange doesn't die to us alone right now. Without Mjolnir. And he honestly doesn't die to anyone but Clinks. <laughs> Clinks and you kill him. Uh, okay. Clinks on his own can maybe kill him. But yeah, your job is not really killing the Orange anyway. Who it's am I killing, killing anyone else? Oh, Furion is great. Like teal, yellow, and uh, I mean purple. If you ever see purple, he should die. He, he's he's food. Okay, Warlock. Yeah, War, Warlock is food. Um, the others, they can all die to you. Uh, except for PL. He's a bit more difficult. <laughs> yeah. 
But I'm... your silence can be a key thing for killing people. So putting the traps down in fights and using that as well. Okay. But, uh, yes. Now, um, at this stage, we're less interested in farming and more interested in going together with clinks and going together with team. Okay. Um, because we're sort of, you know, finished farming to a degree. <laughs> Already? Uh, not really. Aww. We're not really done. I mean, we have we have more to purchase, but okay. Um, but we wanna we wanna use how strong we are. You're currently the strongest player on the field. Yeah, uh, for sure. You're 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 the strongest. Uh, so getting some action to happen is good. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, find the peel. He's on the lane. With everyone here, we can we go we go super aggressive. Just in. And find which one is real. I think you're next to the real one, but maybe not. Maybe he's oh, tricky. Oh yeah, you're right. It was the one on my left. Yeah, he was trying to be sneaky by microing a different one, Worked and on he me. left the one <laughs> next to on you. Yeah, but he died. So we have 60 seconds. We want to go push, push bottom. Okay. Uh, there's a creep wave you need to catch. Cause yeah. else, uh... Very on point. Already Mjolnir complete, basically. That's very cool. Yeah. And from there, um, I would say we upgrade our Blink Dagger. Okay. Swift Blink. Swift yeah, yeah. Oh, Blink on that guy. And hit him. Oh, I lost him. Oh, blink him and hit him. Uh, he, he, uh, he linked me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, anytime you see purple, he's food. Okay. He's still in there. He's hiding. You, you can go. Okay. Where is he? In the tree line, you gotta find him for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. That's fine. The amount of people who forget to activate Mjolnir, by the way, it has to be the most forgotten item to use to active on in the entire game, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Especially for ranged that. heroes, right? Yeah, we can be a bit careful. We have no clinks next to us. And peel again. We need clinks. This is just a. Uh, yeah, you're gonna see this will be a bit tough. Okay, maybe we can. Witch Doctor with a big play. Okay, now we can fight. This looks clean. You still have BKB too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you can just blink in. There's nothing that can kill you now. Okay. Feel, feel like a god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's TA. Jesus. That's TA right there. What you did right there, that's what TA is known for. Literally just blinking in and killing someone in two or three hits. Jesus. Maybe one hit sometimes. Crystal Maiden, it's one hit. W doesn't work on buildings, right? No. It does not. You can go mid too right now. You can take mid lane, it's exposed. Okay. So uh, you don't need to push uh, back. You can just go and hit the mid tier three already. Oh, okay. It's the since the creeps have entered bottom, mid tower is not protected. Kill the kill the creeps because we hate creeps hitting us. They kill refraction charges. Oh yeah. They they are annoying. So uh, we never want creeps to take that. That could be six tower hits that we tank instead of uh, you know six creep hits. That's true. Just clear fast. Oh, can you go bottom and help? Yeah. He is still dead for a while. You, you can look for something here. Oh, oh he, he dodged. He, he dodged. Uh, you can still get him. Nice. And maybe. Kick a chat, clinks. I, I helped. I, helped. Got, I yeah. got confused. Now PL is respawned again. So we always keep track of the most dangerous enemy. You always want to keep track of what he's doing. Like the hero that's most problematic for you. Yeah. BKB, I would say, and just TP out. He forgot or I'm you here. can stay and fight. Yeah, you can always blink out of this too. No detection. Yeah. I forgot. Oh. And your Mjolnir active is very good against people. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. Because anytime he sends illusions on you, that's of course going to trigger it fast. So you're, that makes you a bit better against Peel than you would be otherwise. Oh, yeah. The reason I said Mjolnir in this game is only that he's so bad against it generally it's not an item for ta right um, that, that i i buy it against peel and otherwise i don't buy it okay that's pretty much how it is. what about naga siren 
not really worth it, honestly. Naga, I don't counter her enough because her illusions are fewer and stronger than Peel's. Uh, Peel has a lot of really weak illusions, oh, so yeah. they die fast to lightning. Naga has few but very strong illusions. The game feels very different yeah. when you don't... <laughs> you farm so fast, like it feels oh, yeah. so night yeah, and yeah, day. You... Like, you not, can go kill. Uh, my mouse and keyboard yeah, so. are not different. It's all decision making and knowledge, like which you're. Yeah. Just I keep. mean, you you've uh, you've achieved some some really solid farm here. Four hundred and twenty-four CS in thirty-eight minutes. Uh, this ain't bad. You're pretty big, and oh, he's running away. Wow. He's not. <laughs> And you almost have the 25 talent, the juicy talent. Oh. So again, peel dead with no buyback. You're basically god right now. You cannot die, like almost. It just, that should be your thinking. You have BKB ready. Use it, use BKB. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, you can die. You okay, okay. Die. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you see though? <laughs> refract, refract. Oh, you had <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's great though, that's great. Like that level of aggression is what you should have yeah. when 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 Peel is dead in this game. With with refraction okay. actually I live. Yeah. You actually live there. You had refraction ready at the very end. So even with you holding BKB until like last second, uh, you still would have lived there if you just refracted. I took your challenge. Uh, Sep tried to yep. give me the same challenge. I was like alchemist <laughs> with Tarask on this tower against like three opponents he's like i think you can just hit the tower with the three of them hitting you and they can't do anything and he became unsure halfway through <laughs> <laughs> i tried to follow you literally too but you assumed i will use pkb almost immediately after taking fire uh, pretty early when they start manning up on you is when you want to do it that's also a good thing to get used to for ta so when they choose to not run away from you if you blink in, okay, you want to fight, you know? That, that's when you go, okay, you want to fight, you use your BKB okay. and keep hitting them. But what, uh, uh, like so often, I'll just uh, use BKB too early because I think like, I don't know, they might have something. And by the time that I have to make the decision, I didn't check if they have Blink Dagger and Scythe of Ice, in which case I can never delay the decision, right? My advice would be this, if you're playing TA and you're blinking, blinking into multiple heroes and fighting, always just use BKB immediately, like almost, uh, unless you feel super safe. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, BKB, it's fine to try and min-max and like not use it in a bad way, like, oh, I could use it two seconds later or whatever. Yeah. But it's worse to not use it when you needed it than to have used it slightly too early. Yeah. If you used it slightly too early, that was still an 8-second BKB. Like, it's better to just... Uh, Pop it. Okay. And and honestly, currently, BKB only goes down to six second minimum duration. That's still a long time. Did it used like, to be worse? Seconds. Used to be four seconds long enough ago. Ah. And then it was really short. It went from ten to four instead of nine to six. So you were really punished if you used it badly. <laughs> awesome. There was a lot of minus armor too. Klinks is hitting pretty hard right now. Mm -hmm. That's who are you? Yeah. Don't forget for faction. Ah, didn't get my W. Where do you go? Huh? <laughs> okay. Sometimes I just think they're illusions because they couldn't really be there that way. Yep. But uh, how could they? Oh yeah, he's. Good. 
<laughs> yeah, you see how he's annoying though? Like, you have yeah. way more items, but still the peel is very hard to fight into. Yeah. Very hard, actually. Oh! Oh! Wow. It was a boy! Where did he come from? Yeah, I don't know. Do I buy back? No. Yeah, you, you can buy back. You have mega creeps. It's I would, for, I would for fun, right? The game might end, you know? Might as well go and join. It, it is very low risk to just buy back, I would say. Yeah, the, the reason I wasn't sure I had a sniper game, well, it's probably best not to tell you about it, but... <laughs> <laughs> no... Uh... There's always there's some grief of a bad decision you made in the past. Uh, don't forget refraction. Cast it before the oh, fight. Yeah. That looks like food. Three hits. Wow. They're never real. No, never. Nothing is real. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Hey, wow. Oh, performance. First TA game. Not bad, dude. <laughs> not a bad coach. <laughs> uh, honestly, uh, that was not bad. Your farming was really clean the first... Uh, I want to say the first 20 minutes, you were really on point with like where to go and what to do. You gave me the, the only reason. Yeah, the only reason I would like say that experienced players have much more farm is just the, the min-maxing of things that comes with time. But your decision-making overall there, following that pattern, resulted in you becoming so big right? so the, the min maxing would include like the mine at the 51 seconds that pulls the ancients yep. maybe sometimes mm -hmm. teammates stuck for you but you would say even by yourself yeah I, I would probably have stacked quite a few more times by myself and then also just how efficiently you line up for the side blades with the right. jungle camps and making sure you're attacking off cooldown right when oh. you're a spellcaster you have a cooldown on your spells but as a TA, I think of my auto attack as in, you know, do you have an attack rate? You want to attack every time you can when you jungle, as and soon as possible. What did you notice in my play? Like, uh, I mean, you, you noticed, noticed a you lot. You played no a doubt. lot better than I expected. <laughs> no, no. What did um, you notice in particular to this while jungling? Like, you just saw that I was taking, like, a lot of footsteps between, in order to line up properly, like, steps where I wasn't attacking? A bit. Overall, I would say you got the hang of it, whether intentional or not, you did the key thing, which I would summarize as this. For TA to farm fast in jungle, you hit the creeps and walk backwards in a straight line that lines up all the creeps ne nicely always. Yeah. So the more you run you know, sideways, the more difficult it is to side blade. But if you run straight back, you're always gonna force the creeps to follow you in a straight line. Yeah, so uh, one time uh, at, the, at the outpost at the top, I pulled the pumpkins or the pineapples around the tree, which made me lose vision and it made them curve. So that's like not ideal. You want to walk straight away. Yeah, I was thinking of that same same timing there. Oh. And also you, you try to do like pulling pulling creeps to one camp from another and farm right. them. First try. You, I, I wanted work. to get back to that. It's not a bad play if you had had a trap prepared at the camp that you're pulling them to. Oh, so you, you, you slow them? I played them there. Yeah, so you pull them there, and then when they turn around and want to run back, you slow them first. Ah. Now all the creeps are close to each other and very slow, easy, you know, uh, easy targets for side blading. So then you can actually do what you did there. But oh. without traps, you're never going to be able to get, like, value out of it. But uh, with traps, you can do it. Sick. Yeah, no. So how did you like the hero? How do you like TA? Yeah, really fun because it feels so good when you've got stacked camps and waves and you're just physical attacking them. You can save a lot of mana. You've got a lot of vision everywhere with the with the traps. And then yeah, you do a lot of you do a lot of farming. You've got the su survivability from high armor and refraction. I think I used Melt the least and worst, even though it's a super key ability for her. Like, it was often an afterthought as I was focusing on the rest. And I also, of course, haven't been tested if I get bullied yeah. in the safe lane. So that's, uh, there's, there's whole dimensions of pain waiting for me, no doubt, in the future. But uh, as a first game, obviously, fantastic uh, guidance. 
uh, felt really good. And yeah, the hero seems a lot of fun. And very creative with all the vision and the slows that you can set up and prepare for the future. Yeah, she has she has an incredibly high skill cap to play her like at her peak for being just a right clicker, which you know she is. She has a, an incredible skill cap for how you can do things better. And I think you landed a lot of your meld strikes, honestly, even with that. So I think I'm happy that we talked a little bit about meld and its range and how how it's an easy ability to miss if you're not close enough. Because I really saw you landing a lot of them in fights that a lot of people could easily miss them. I guess I in, mean, in theory, if you wanted to be sh more sure, you could just one hit attack. First. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. One, one hit on the enemy first, you know you're in range, and then, then you can melt strike after. Yeah, if, that's, if you're that's not, a good way to do it. If you're not laying an ambush, let's say. From yeah. the ambush, you better be sure. The downside is you're paying, you're actively playing damage for that, because that first hit could have been with minus eight extra armor. Yeah, true. Worth knowing uh, is that meld hits before your attack. Yeah, I noticed that. So meld that. is a separate damage instance, so it will always be before the first hit too. Yeah, so you get so much extra damage already on your first hit. Yeah, but no, that that was. I mean, if you were pressured more in the safe lane, though, if there were people running up on you, then the meld could have been a good tool to slap them and make them go away. It's like they come close, you meld, you hit them. But the way the lane played out, you were just sideblading the Furion and sideblading the Slark. Slark didn't even stay in the lane. He got really tired of what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped to like thirty percent life. So, you're, uh, would you say that she's better against uh, melee because you're more likely to hit, but uh, or not? I would say she's better against melee heroes in lane quite often, but she's better at murdering a lot of range heroes because true. range heroes tend to be squishier. True, true, true. A lot of range heroes, especially the range support heroes, oh my god, they, they die in, in no hit. You saw what happened to Warlock, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, mostly, mostly I like range heroes because those are the ones I go after, a lot of them. Cool. Super, uh, super interesting. Also on a general macro perspective, nice to get a refresher on position one's selfishness, which becomes altruism, considering that's how you're going to be able to help the team. <laughs> yes. Cool. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that was uh, that was fun. But uh, thank you for having me, and good luck with your uh, other games. Thanks a As lot. Always, I. Uh... I wouldn't mind joining again if you have uh, curious questions about anything else. So yeah, I'd love that. And, uh, and bye, chat. Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> I'll prepare some uh, <laughs> questions for next time. Uh, maybe some general micro and macro questions for troubles that I may have had or things that I can't get. You're a great teacher. Uh, good luck on your stream. Thanks for joining. See you, man. Yeah, see you. See you.